Pikachu! What's going on, guys? Sage is here with depressing news. It's a sad day in Rangerstown, everybody. Very sad day. Kevin Shattenkirk is now a member of the Washington Capitals. The trade is unfolding right between my... Well, right between... Well, right in front of our eyes. Shattenkirk is now a member of the Washington Capitals. Who will be playing the Rangers tomorrow night. Fortunate enough for us, we will get to see our golden boy in the Capitals jersey. For those wondering, the Capitals are my least favorite team in the NHL, as they've been for the past few years now, even more so than Pittsburgh, the Islanders, Devils, Flyers. Probably because the Rangers face them in the playoffs every single year. And I guess this year won't be uh, any different, and I'm sure we will see Shattenkirk in the playoffs. Okay, initial just initial reactions on the whole uh, the whole trade. Uh, unless Gordon's got something in mind. That'll blow me out of the water. I would personally like to walk all the way to Madison Square Garden and wring his neck right now. But, unfortunately, I can't do that. Now, I'd imagine the price for Shattenkirk was high, which is exactly why the Rangers didn't get him. And if that's the case, fine, I understand that. And I hope Washington gave up a lot for him. Because, I mean, you could t they're all in this year. There's nothing you could do about that. They want to win. They're all in this year. They never get past the second round of the playoffs anyways. They're all in. It is what it is. And you know what? Washington got him. I only hope that the the thing is right now the what the Rangers need is exactly what Shattenkirk is a right-handed defenseman that can play top minutes. That is exactly what the Rangers need. And Shattenkirk kills penalties. He helps in the power play. And for all his Ranger fans who watch the power play, uh, yeah, we uh, we definitely need help on that power play. Um, for example, my father brings up consistently that Sam Rosen says every time Peary's in the lineup and Peary shoots wide, and I'm sure many of you hear that. And acknowledge that as well. And luckily for us, Peary is back in the lineup. More than Buknevich, so I guess that's a good thing. Anyways, oh uh, my god. Uh, I'm not even giving my thoughts anymore. I'm, I'm so I'm not even going to talk about Shattenkirk anymore. I'm, I'm going to start talking about the Rangers right now. For all you Washington fans that tune in to hear me talk about Shattenkirk, I apologize. I am not. If I start talking about that, there's going to be curse words from every language, every side of my room right now. I'm not... I'm, no more Shankard. T time to talk Rangers. This is a Rangers channel as of right now. It's a trade deadline. It is Rangers time. Okay. Before I lose my shit. Okay. We need a defenseman. If I'm telling you right now, if Gorton is saving his picks and players to to go ahead and get a forward like he did last year with Eric Stahl... Then this this was awful to let Shattenkirk slip through our fingers and go to Washington. Abs absolutely awful. He better have a defenseman in mind, and it better be a right-handed. People have brought up before Justin Falk of the Carolina Hurricanes, but the asking price for him, I'd imagine, would be Derek Stepan. In which case, that would just be a lateral trade because you'd go from having a weak defense to having a weak offense. As much as Stepan sucked lately, he is a right-handed center. His face-off percentage is above 50%. And, uh, yeah, you know. Ah, right, here's actually the official details. Uh, first-round pick... In 2017, second round pick in 2018, and Zach Ranford going to St. Louis and for Kevin Shattenkirk. Uh, who gives a shit? Um, that would be more of a lateral trade for the New York Rangers because she, I hate to break it. Step on as much as he stinks lately, as much as he misses the net and does all those things, he comes up clutch in the playoffs. He's a good leader at a young age. He's a right handed shot. His contract sucks, but. You know, Stepan's a good player. And as good as Abanajad is, and I feel like he has a high ceiling. Zabanajai is your first line center. Hayes, your second line center. Uh, who do you even have as your third line center at that point? And then the fourth line, you got Lindbergh. Uh, the third line center, you got, who do you have? Hayes, Zabanajai. You could you could put Miller at center. Maybe Peary, you move him up to the third. I don't know. I feel like that would be that would be way too much of a lateral move. And that would do more harm than good. Uh, you know, if, if they can get Justin Falk, maybe not. For Stepan or Miller or anybody that would, you know, that's helping the team right now, I can, I'm I'm down. But uh, I don't know. The Rangers, they they need to figure something out. And I can tell you right now, trading for a forward is not going to help. It'll just make it worse because our forward course is deep enough to the point where we got uh, Pavel Buknevich scratched. So you know what? Not even not even worth bringing in another forward. You would need a defenseman. And if any of you, if any of you read the TSN articles, um, uh, for example, the TSN top 40, uh, Shat the only good right-handed shot defenseman up there that would fill every Rangers need was Kevin Shattenkirk. Now to fill those needs now, what the Rangers would have to do, they would have to make more than one move. It would be, 
it would be a few guys, you know. And the Rangers aren't in a position to make a lateral moves right now. Henrik Lundqvist is, what, 35? He's having a down year. I'm not against Lundqvist. I love Lundqvist to death. He's still a good goaltender, but he's not as good as he used to be. He's on, you know, he's on the, the wrong side of 30. He's actually on the wrong side of 35, if I'm correct. And uh, the Rangers got to realize that because next year, he can't be playing over 70, 60, 60, 70 games what he's on pace for this year. Like, that's a little much for the guy. And Girardi's not getting any younger. His contract's not getting any better. Same thing with Mark Stahl. You know, our guys are getting older. They're playing. They're going on these long playoff runs. It, it, it takes a toll on them. And you know what? The Rangers, they got They have to win now. As crazy as it sounds, they don't have a choice. So they kind of got their hands tied behind them right now. So it's a little rough. But, um... Yeah. So it's official. Uh, 2017 first round pick, a 2018 second round pick, and Zach, Ranford, uh, Zach Sanford is um, going to the Washington Capitals. Uh, well, I, we're going to those St. Louis Blues for Kevin Shattenkirk, who is on his way to the, uh, to the Washington Capitals. So there you have it, boys. The Rangers lost out on the Shattenkirk sweepstakes. Hopefully, uh, actually... St. Louis has eaten half their contract, too. So, uh... Breaks my heart. Hopefully we'll, uh... Hopefully we'll get him in the offseason, boys. I sound incredibly depressed right now. But that's what I am. It is It is a rough day in Rangers town. And knowing that we have to face Shattenkirk tomorrow is not helping. So with that, I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching it, because... Well, I kind of enjoyed making it. <laughs> and if you understood everything I just said, you do not need hearing aids. I will see you all in the next one. Hopefully with good Rangers news. Peace!